showing some of the products here that we've been using on the uh, hills uh, making trees uh, doing the weathering and painting and stuff I uh, got rust-oleum camouflage green that we're using in the uh, foliage areas uh, white green that's unscented extra hold you know when we're doing the foliage tree foliage bushes making vines uh, the ranch salad dressing jar I've put uh, fine turf yellow grass in that got this scenic express leaves I got a medium green and a light green also the flock foliage we're using that also using uh, woodland scenics paints uh, grays, umbers, blacks uh, concrete and I also got some of the craft store paints, uh, Americana, folk art, plat, various colors. And glues being used are the uh, uh, super glue gel and uh, white glue. Here we're uh, starting to make some trees. We're using the uh, sage trees. I'm spraying them with uh, white rain, unscented hairspray, then shaking uh, Woodland Scenics uh, ground foam, fine foam on there in uh, light green, medium, a little bit of dark green. That really makes a nice looking tree. Those sage trees are really nice. I like those where they're coming out. But, uh, I mean, they're easy to do. Doesn't take long. But, uh, and we uh, also uh, sprayed them with uh, Woodland Scenic, I mean, uh, Sink Express leaves. That, uh, really made the trees kind of stand out pretty good with the uh, having the leaves on there on top of the ground foam gave them a more realistic look you can see here where some of these trees will have flat spots or kind of like holes in them uh, I take the little pieces that broke off in, in the bottom of the box put a little super glue gel on them and use those fill in the holes the flat spots give them a more 3D effect made them look a lot better once I got that in got it looking the way I wanted it just spray it real good with that white rain hairspray put the ground foam and scenic leaves on it and you got some nice looking trees Of course here you see the bald headed fella, not too smart, he didn't use the spray box, he just kind of stepped away from the table started spraying. So at the end of the night he's on his hands and knees having to wash the floor, get all that hairspray off. Betcha he won't do that again. But everybody that's been, uh, has seen these trees so far have really liked the looks of them. We like the looks too of them. We'll be using more of them. We got another section of the layout where we did kind of like a residential area. And I plan on putting some of those trees in that area too. And we'll probably use them on the near the mountain area that we have at one end kind of transition up into the mountains
You just take them and then spray them with hairspray and dribble that grass stuff on them. Yep. Yep. That's easy. That looks damn good too. Mm -hmm. It's a hell of a lot easier than what we used to have to do. <laughs> we used to get like that cotton we bought to yeah. like make you know pillows and stuff with. You buy that. Poly fiber. Yeah, we made do that too, hadn't we? <laughs> We got an old bag of that now. Yeah, how Mike was having y'all make the trees for yeah. a while. No, Bill and I were doing this over at Randy and Friends. First you got to spray the pot ball black, and then you got to wait for that. Or no, you didn't wait for it to dry. If you acted fast enough, you could spray it black and then put it in the stuff. And then you had to glue it to a stem. Look how easy that is. No. Oh. Those trees are expensive, though. Huh? Those trees are expensive. Yeah, fifty dollars a box. Yeah. I Some don't people know what buy like, the mega, the huge like. Yeah, well, box. that's cheap. That's like that's cheap. Hundred bucks or something. Yeah, well, the bag's cheap. Here we're doing something new. Uh, we're taking polyfiber, pulling it out real thin. Uh, we're going to use that to make uh, undergrowth put around maybe base of trees along some rocks have a few vines coming out from it going down a rock face or up tree trunks uh, new thing for all of us uh, as you can see we're already starting to pull it apart but it was kind of thick it took a few tries but uh, we got it down thin pretty thin started looking real good did the same as trees you uh, spray it I sprayed it with the green paint first and that dried pretty quick, so I was using hairspray to respray it and uh, put the ground foam on it. Hey, the ball guy's using the box now, so you don't have to clean up the floor. But anyway, uh, <laughs> uh, I was spraying the base color green onto it, and uh, then it dry real quick. I go back, spray it with a hairspray, and uh, put some ground foam on it, and uh, also put the uh, scenic express uh, leaves on there and uh, that gives it a nice texture it really makes it look good uh, you'll see at the end of this clip where uh, for this video uh, how it's coming out these were a little bit on the thick side but like I said we had a few more attempts at it and got them down thinner looking a lot better we're more pleased with it uh, made some vines up too uh, I used a really heavy sewing thread, coated it with white glue, and uh, put the ground foam on it, and then uh, put a few of the uh, Scenic Express uh, leaf material on there too, and uh, gave it a nice texture. So, uh, enjoy. Like that? Can you see what I'm doing? Yeah. Huh? Can you actually see the grass too and all? Yeah. You can. Uh, you can see here where we've uh, put the uh, undergrowth down. Uh, of course, this is our first attempt, and it was rather thick. But after several other tries, we've gotten it down pretty thin. You can also see those green lines. Those are vines made out of sewing thread. Of course, they need to be shaped and bent around. But, uh, yeah, this gave us an idea of what it looked like. This one uh, I'm zooming in on is got the ground foam and the uh, scenic 
express leaves on that, so it gave it a nice texture. But once it got thinned out, it looked a whole lot better. Of course, these trees here are just way too small, too short, and they're making that stuff look a lot bigger, a lot bigger than what it was. But no, we didn't have the blob on the mountain taking over. But and there's some trees here. Those had the uh, scenic express leaves on those too, which gave them that kind of texture to look. But that's it for this update. Hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you.